What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be answering some of your questions that you have been leaving on my lock content videos. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first question I have here is, I started my braid lock journey four months ago. I was wondering if you could help me understand more about this method because my hair hasn't been locking. All right, so let me just explain this regarding any lock journey. Um, how your hair locks is um, totally, not even how, but when your hair locks is totally dependent on your hair's texture as well as time. Now, the um, texture of your hair plays a major part in that, which I have shared um, um, details about that in a video titled um damn what was it titled i think it was five tips to or five things to consider before starting your lock journey and i'll definitely go ahead and link it right here but your hair texture certainly plays a part in how long um, it takes for your hair to lock now say for example your hair was more um on the looser textured side then it will take a little bit more time unlike curlier or coilier hair types um you know the the hairs are more easier to intertwine and lock with each other so your hair texture plays a major role so depending on what your hair texture is like then that can affect how long it will take for your hair to lock but also um generally it takes anywhere between six to 12 months for your hair to properly lock. So um, the, um, the method in which you start don't necessarily um, affect the locking process, but more time, your hair texture and the time um, you have been on your lock journey will determine um, how quick your hair will lock. So I hope that answered your question. So the next question I have here is, when will you know that your hair is locked? Hmm. When will you know that your hair is locked? <laughs> Personally, I would say when your starter locks start looking like locks is when your hair is locked. <laughs> I don't know. Um, when will you know that your hair is locked? Um, well, yeah, that's what I would say. When it starts to look more like locks, then you can know for a fact that, okay, my hair, that's what it says, when your hair has locked. Um, but I have to say, um, on along my lock journey, I remember, um, I'll link the video right here, in my three-month lock journey, oh, in my three-month lock journey, when I was three months along my lock journey, um, I had shared with you guys about um, unraveling one of my locks because it was so huge in the center right here and i wanted to um split it and even though my hair wasn't locked right um my hair already started to lock and i believe that was between the two two or the third second or the third month um i experienced that but i know for a fact that my hair started to lock it didn't lock though but it was starting to lock but certainly go ahead and check my video out to um find out you know what i was sharing with you guys within my three months of having my locks my first three months of having my locks moving on to the next question um we have what do you use to moisturize your locks and do you do it daily okay so when i had locks i literally only used um my moisturizing hair butter that i make myself uh, my hair growth oil and water um so that's what i use um and no i didn't do it on a daily i didn't necessarily need to moisturize my locks on a daily either um i usually when I had locks, I was moisturizing my hair once a week, like a full moisturizing um, routine. Um, but anyway, definitely go ahead and check this video out to see how I applied my, um, how I did my moisturizing routine when I had my locks. So the next question I have is, how do you retain moisture in locks? Now, when it comes to retaining moisture, you definitely have to consider your hair's porosity, right? Like your hair's porosity plays a major role, whether you are locked or loose natural, right? And 
um, so in order to retain the, 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 the moisture. But to um, say you don't have high porosity here and you want to retain your um, the moisture in your locks, I would certainly highly recommend using um, a satin um, scarf or sleep on a satin or silk pillowcase etc now the reason why i would highly recommend using a satin or silk scarf or pillowcase is because it is true that cotton actually sucks the moisture out of your hair now i know this to be true based off my own experience after um um, one day I had, um, washed my daughter's hair, moisturized it and everything and she fell asleep and because I didn't want her to um, um, I didn't want her to stain the pillows <laughs> you know have all the, the oils going on the pillows I decided to put a towel underneath her so she could sleep and I tell you when she woke up the side that she was sleeping on it was so dry you would not have believed that I moisturized her hair. So to retain moisture in your locks, I would highly recommend um, using a silk scarf or um, silk or satin scarf or pillowcase to um, help retain the, um, the moisture. So the next question I have here is, I started my locks three months ago with 84 locks and they look thin. Why is that? Now that totally depends on the size that you started off with in the first place. And um, if you didn't start with um, small sizes, then your hair's density and your hair strength thickness definitely plays a part in that and I did a video detailing why these things are important and I'll go ahead and link it right here for you to definitely check out so if you want thicker locks then you want to certainly consider your hair's density and your hair strength thickness as well as your parting sizes but if you have 84 locks and they are thin it could be one of those three that you parted it too small or your hair's density is low and your hair strand is actually thin or fine so definitely check this video out to find out more information about that okay so moving on to the next question I have um, for someone who wants to keep their long dreads can you unravel just the roots of your locks so that your actual scalp part can be pulled flat for wearing wigs and can that be retwisted into dreads again okay now um so if you don't want to unravel you don't want to comb out your locks right so for someone who wants to keep their long dreads right can you unravel just the roots of your locks so that the actual scalp part can be pulled flat for twisting you know what i believe you can actually unravel the um the roots starting from the roots of your head because I remember when I was sharing with you, yourselves um, you know one of my videos where I was getting rid of and um, build up out of my son's hair which I'll link right here you um, will see in that video that I was you know pulling out his hair from the roots and it was coming undone and um, you know I would definitely say you can do that if you want to have more of a flatter look um, and then you ask um, and can that be retwisted into dreads again yes definitely because also um, when I was pregnant I had a ton of new growth when I um, you know obviously was pregnant and I had my locks and I wasn't retwisting I had so much new growth but eventually it locked up so that kind of answers the question like can you make it lock again when you unravel it because yes your hair will be unlocked right here and then it will also lock again as long as you continue to retwist it and do what you need to do for your locks to form all over again so to answer that definitely yes to both part of your question so moving on to the next question i have how do you retwist braid star locks now thinking about starter locks um because obviously as time progresses and you have new growth you can change the method in which you use to um retwist your hair or tighten your hair but in the earlier stages like you know in the first month to second month or the third month etc where it's still more like braids um, I would suggest interlocking now the reason why I suggest that is because like if you think about after a month of um, you know you start a locks you don't necessarily have a lot of new growth so the braids are still kind of close to your scalp and it would be a little bit difficult to try and twist it like this right like 
for example if you have two strand twists it would be easier because you are following the 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 um, the formation of your two strand twist right so whether you twisted it this way or that way so with braids because everything is more going inwards i would suggest interlocking because interlock is um the interlocking method is literally pulling the hair back in just like when you formed a um a, a plait a braid because you go like this right it's kind of weird showing but you get the three strands and you move inwards 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 and when you're using the interlocking tool you are moving across and going downwards as well inwards as well so i would highly suggest if you started your lock journey with the braid locks is to use the interlocking method to retwist or retighten your star locks so moving on to the next question we have i'm thinking of getting my braid locks crocheted what's your opinion what's your opinion okay i'm thinking of getting my braid locks crocheted I'm not sure if you mean interlocked but if it's interlocked because you know you use the um, the crochet latch hook needle to do that so yes as I mentioned in my previous um, the previous question that I answered definitely you can go ahead and use that but if you're talking about crocheting your um, braid locks I'm not sure in what sense you mean crocheting your braid locks like are you crocheting it to bring the loose hairs inwards or um what um but if 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 it's more so in regards to retwisting or retightening then it says um what's your opinion i would definitely suggest that that's what i would say okay so the next question is what gel are you using now when i was using gels in my hair when i was retwisting i was using the styling dreads um molding gel wax and if you're interested in that i would definitely go ahead and link that in the description bar below for you to you know get um a, a tub of it if you like i really like that for retwisting my hair when i had my my um locks um and just to let you know a little goes a long way so you don't need a whole lot of that certainly go ahead and um make an order of that if you're interested but when you do use it use a little at a time because a little goes a very long way <laughs> and the final question that i will be answering today is why did you comb out your locks now in my video where I shared with you, um, you know, me combing out my locks or ending my lock journey, I did actually explain to you guys why I went ahead and ended my lock journey. Now, obviously, the person who may have asked this question is may have been new to my channel and isn't aware of the reasons, etc. So for anyone else who is new and want to know why I ended my lock journey, definitely go ahead and check the video out, which is listed up here, or it might be more than likely listed in the description bar below. So yeah, and also definitely go ahead and check out my lock update playlist because um, in that playlist, I have given you guys all the updates regarding my locks all the way up until you know my two and a half year um, point and um, also definitely check out my lock journey playlist where you will see a whole lot more content okay so that's it for today I hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did then please go ahead and give this video a big massive thumbs up and drop a comment definitely let's get the engagement up so that YouTube can see that this content is of value and then they can share it with other people who will benefit from watching my content so once again if you enjoyed today's video definitely thumbs up drop a comment and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week sunday at 5 pm matter of fact 6 pm because that's my new upload schedule time we will be right back here with another video